I'm making a new implement for my tractor and I've got to make some hydraulic connections and there's lots of different ways to do those but for the um, I bought these at Surplus Center and they've got a guide on there that shows you um, how to do national pipe thread fittings and those are normally your cheapest fittings and so uh, quite a few people buy those from them. This is your thread identification right here but this part down here talks about when you put these together uh, how much of a turn you're supposed to put in them. And so I'm doing half inch right now actually most of this, uh, the normal sizes that you would use down to three quarter you do one and a half to three turns. So I'm going to shoot for probably two turns. We'll see how tight it is when I get to that point. Uh, you also want to put on some uh, pipe sealant, uh, an, an anaerobic pipe sealant like this, which is the uh, Loctite 545. Uh, it's made for uh, hydraulic connections. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here's our fitting. And like the guide says, we want to keep the first two uh, threads clean. So there's, let's see, there's our thread number one and thread number two. So then right behind that I'm going to put a stripe. Alright, just like that. And then we're going to thread it in. You don't want to put it um, on those first few threads because you don't want it to get into the um, your hydraulic system. Okay, so you put it on there finger tight like that. And now we're going to turn it We're going to turn it two turns. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to, hard to do with the camera in the light. All right, so that's one. And there's two. Alright, so let's do that one more time from a different perspective. Keeping my first two threads clean, I'm going to go ahead and put on more sealant. Now it does say in the instructions, if you don't have any anaerobic sealant like this, you can use Teflon tape. Still keeping the first two threads clean. First you just go finger tight, like that, and then we're going to go two turns. So that's one. Get a little bit longer wrench. Alright, so as you can see, using the number of turns method, uh, I think gets them too tight. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to use the method right here where it's talking about torque. And for a 3 8 national pipe throw, we want 40 foot-pounds of torque. And so, here's our meter, alright? It's an old snap-on and we're going for 40 foot-pounds of torque. Now, to do this one, you could actually drop a socket on there 
and that would work really well. But for most of your hydraulic footing, fittings, you're not going to be able to do that. So, so what you're going to have to do is get one of these crow foot, uh, I don't know, I guess uh, sockets or whatever they're called. Anyway, this I got these at Harbor Freight. It's a crow foot wrench set, and so now when you extend that out like that, you're actually going to be putting more torque on it um, than if you were right underneath here. So I don't know if, you know, putting it to the side would give you the same or not. I don't know. But what I do know is this is still going to be way more accurate than doing just number of turns. Okay. So to demonstrate, that's what I'm going to do. So again, I'm going to put my sealer on here. And we're going to screw that down in there. And then we're going to tighten this down until we get to 40. <clears throat> 50 and that's 40 right there. And I didn't count how many turns that was. I'll have to, well, I'll go back to the video and look at it and see how many turns that was. But anyway, that was that was forty foot uh, that was forty um, foot pounds, and so I think that's your better route if you have the option. All right, so let's see how many turns it takes to get to forty foot pounds. So I've got my sealant on here, and again, you can use Teflon tape if that's all you have. So you go finger tight is what the instructions say, and then we were doing like two turns. Okay, so that's finger tight right there. So, it's easy to count with this hose, so I got my torque wrench on here, and let's see. Alright, that's one. Oh, sorry. Let me get you lined back up. That's the dangers of doing this stuff. Okay. So we're at 35 and there's 40 right there. So, you know, that was one and three quarters turns, which, you know, it says on here somewhere between one and a half and three, and I was going to two. So I was probably over torquing uh, those other ones just a little bit. Now I've got one fitting, uh, the one that's actually attaching to the tractor that I am going to put Teflon tape on. And the reason is, is because there's oil kind of leaking out of that fitting uh, because it's on the tractor and so I'm just going to put two turns around there like that and so you wouldn't want to use that sealant um, if you've got oil in the threads because it isn't going to cure properly but Teflon tape will work. Okay so for hydraulic fittings that are uh, national pipe thread I hope this was helpful to you like I said there's a lot of different kinds of hydraulic fittings um, but this is one of the more common ones. It's the one I use most often. And so I hope this was helpful to you just to kind of understand how you need to tighten them down and would get you through some projects that you want to do. And as usual, thank you for watching.